Okay, my name is Giuseppe Tempestini and I come from Italy. Yeah. So why do you volunteer for Global Voices, Giuseppe? Um, I do and I wish to do for a very long time. I started uh, not much ago um, because I believe it's a beautiful project. It's uh, one of the few realities that really focuses on uh, letting people's uh, speech actually be heard uh, all around the world. And it does, uh, it, does it uh, uh, listening to all those uh, voices in the world that uh, do not have a way to access uh, uh, the system, and the media system that is always focused on the same realities and the same issues, letting a lot of people being unheard. I mean, you just said that you uh, joined just recently yes. Global Voices on a volunteer basis. Mm -hmm. But so far, were your expectations fulfilled? Absolutely, yes. Um, the most uh, beautiful side from my point of view of Global Voices is that uh, people who actually commit their time and energy and resources very often uh, to the Global Buses team really believe in what they're doing. Uh, they're always enthusiast and uh, even, um, even when they approach a new volunteer, somebody that is willing to give them some of his time, they're in, uh, incredibly involving and they're always very open to uh, get, get you to join their team and helping them in, uh, in something that they really believe can, uh, can make a change in the world. What is your understanding of we, and has it changed since the rise of the internet? It did. Um, okay, talking about my personal life and my personal uh, daily experiences, uh, it absolutely changed the fact that I very often refer to groups of friends and groups of people that I know uh, that I am constantly, constantly, constantly in contact with. I am constantly uh, capable of uh, communicating, of conversations and debates with them, uh, even if I very often do not see them at all. I do them with different tools. We we share something that we we know that we are all interested into, and uh, it's something that probably a few years ago I wouldn't have been able uh, to do. And I was much more close into my daily contacts, my daily relationships. So absolutely, it did change. So, what are you basically saying, that it became a much broader basis of people you are talking to, you are connected with today, or...? Okay, I think that there are <clears throat> two different levels here. Um, on one side, I'm more connected with a certain number of people that I, I, do, I didn't know personally, or that I'm personally interested in uh, having a relationship with. So, my personal sphere of contacts actually got incredibly broader. At the same time, very often I find myself referring to a we, in a sense that uh, I didn't have a long time, uh, a little time ago, which is uh, a we of uh, everybody of us that actually share the same interest, and we can actually do it at the same time from all around the world, even without knowing each other. So it, it, we can, it can be a we speaking about a certain kind of topic in a blogosphere, it can be a we uh, using a certain kind of tool uh, to actually share videos on YouTube, it can be a we of people who believe in a cause and actually commit to fight for that cause, like we of Global Voices. I do not know personally most of these people, but I know I can actually refer to them as a we, because they share the same commitment and the same uh, uh, ideals that I do have in promoting people's right to actually tell their story and tell what is actually going wrong in their own realities.